Hey guys, so this is gonna be just a quick video. So I recently put some Sparco seats in my FRS, um, and this is just gonna be kind of showing how I got everything working uh, with no airbag light and getting the passenger side uh, occupancy sensor to work. So if I start this thing up, it's gonna be super loud. There won't be an airbag light on. So as you can see, no airbag light on, and I have aftermarket seats with no airbags. So I'll get this thing off. I still have this thing sitting on jack stands. So as far as the seatbelt, I'm using the stock um, clip for the stock buckle. I just have to get new bolts since I bought these rails used. They didn't actually come with the bolts for that, so I have to source those. Um, but then for the seatbelt sensor, I just got a resistor that's just shoved in there. And the passenger side I have all taped up and everything, so it won't come out. Uh, you can just solder the resistor straight to the wires, but I'm just shoving it in here for now. And then I can redo the wiring some other time because I'm kind of on a time crunch to get my car finished for some drift events. Um, but these are the resistors I got. They're just some 3.3 ohm resistors. There's like 10 piece on Amazon for like six bucks. They worked really well. And then as far as the occupancy sensor, so on the new seat, the occupancy sensor just sits right underneath this fabric. Um, you can actually kind of see it. This seat, the fabric is already kind of messed up since these seats are from like 97. They're pretty old. I got them dirt cheap used, but the sensor kind of sits in here and in the sensor, there's kind of like a square part. So I lined that up with this hole and then the wire for the occupancy sensor just goes right through here. The actual module for the occupancy sensor is just right under the seat. You're not gonna be able to see it really. I tried some double-sided tape to stick it to the bottom, but I have to get some stronger stuff because it didn't stay. Um, and then same thing with the resistor over here, just stuck it in. It's omnidirectional, so it doesn't matter which way you put the resistor in, it just has to go in both of the terminals. And then same thing with the belt. Uh, it's just the stock belt. And I'll be putting that on once I get the bolts. The hardest part, honestly, was just getting the fabric off here without tearing it uh, because I wanted to keep the seat or sell it or do something with it. But there's just these clips in the front here, these white clips, they just pull off the metal. You just pull them down and off. This one isn't even clipped on right now. And then there's this one on this side. And then same thing on this side, you have to take, there's a screw behind this lever. So if you pull that up, you can take the screw out and pop this trim piece off. Um, and then underneath here, all there is is a bunch of clips that hold the fabric down into the seat. So I just cut, there's some wearings, just cut those. You can replace them with zip ties if you really want. Um, and then the occupancy sensor is just gonna be kind of sitting underneath here and it's gonna be glued to the foam. So all I did is I kind of took my hand and kind of went like this and then just very carefully tore up the, the sensor. Um, and you have to peel the fabric back pretty far to get to it get to it because there's a piece that kind of comes around here and sits back here as well but that was the hardest part really and then just putting the stock seat back together but other than that everything else was real easy wire just goes through it just sticks under there everything's connected it works pretty well so also just another thing to prove that the occupancy sensor works so no airbag light and if i push on the seat the airbag turns on and then if i get off the seat it turns back off still no airbag lights so if i push on the seat airbag turns on no light and then let off airbag turns off no airbag light everything works perfect